They got elevators for you lazy boys. <laughs> Not us, baby. Look at the cups. The cups are real pretty. Hey, look. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Bigfoot. I found Bigfoot, babe. <laughs> found Bigfoot. Look, there's baby Bigfoots. whole bunch of coffee mugs. Oh, this is a big gift shop. Oh, these are chocolate bars. Oh, that's cool. Pikes Peak chocolate bars. Yeah, they have Pikes Peak chocolate bars. Oh, that's what they have. Is it kind of cool? I kind of want one. How much are they? Holy crap. <laughs> See it? <laughs> yeah. I agree. That's a sweet How much is that one? 13. Okay, so you'll probably get a cup or something. Any 36 one. I'm coming, but. Focus, I don't want to focus. There you go. You might get one of those cups. I like those. Or oh, coffee mug. We need more coffee mugs. I just don't want to get like a cup or something. Oh, this cup is cool. It's a cool cup. We gotta get one of these cups or something. I might get, let me see what these baseball caps are like. Oh, a beanie. They got beanies over here. Okay, yeah, I think I found the cap. What about this one? Or this one? All right, which one you like, babe? I know which one I like, but let's see which one you like better. Let's see if you have the same taste as me. For me, I would get this one, That's but one. I know. That's yeah. the one I like. I like yeah. this one. Because um, I like this one, but I, I don't like the shape of the back of it. Yeah, no, I like that this one. one's cool. Yeah. I'm going to get this one. Unless I see another one I like better. A selection of hats, that's pretty cool. Oh, dang it. Babe, I think I see a coffee mug you might like. It's, it's not big, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. Wow, these sweaters are cool. Just even there as you can get pocket knives. This is pretty dope. We got a big book, Bigfoot keys.
there's a ton of gifts. There's a ton, ton of gifts for everybody. There's something for everybody here. It's pretty dope. I like it. Collectible coins pressed. Oh, that's cute. There's not a super mom or super wife. Oh, oh, I didn't even see that. It's, it was in the I love my wife section. Hold on, I'll get it. In my 920 Cog Railroad Riders. The time now is 11:05. Our train will start boarding in five minutes at 11:10. So they didn't have the. Consuming the food and they didn't have the one more, more of the I love my wife one, but look which one. Remind you not outside food or drink is allowed back on the train. Oh. We'll have a trash bag available if you need to dispose of anything. Also take this I'm time to use the restrooms. It'll be over an hour to go back to the depot. Once you enjoy your ride back, it's going to be expensive. Thank you very much for your cooperation. <laughs> well, this one's only 17.99. Look, they got socks. <laughs> he loves you. Shirt sticking on the back of this one, over here. It's on the price. These are cute because it just says, like, Do you have those coins? They only got like junk food type stuff. Uh, I'd rather what? eat wings. Huh? I'd rather eat wings. Yeah, hi, it's only like junk food and stuff, huh? Pots are spring water. They got pizza. Oh, they do? Mm -hmm. It's up to you. I don't care if you need to. you want? Alright. And it back out to the truck. Going back out. clouds that are below us that's freaky <laughs> look at those clouds that are below us bro that's crazy that's so crazy <laughs> that's some ice right there <laughs> how big that wall of snow is.
next time we know. We'll bring friends well, and family. We'll bring friends and family. To make sure you dress warm. Because there's a ton of snow up here. And it's cold. And it's windy. And we're on top of Colorado. little gifts oh my baby loves me he got me a cap uh that's my cap lady <laughs> <laughs> cutest cup you've ever seen i know i bought my wife a cup with her name on it with pike's pete damn i'm a good husband <laughs> you are i love you so we're done and it was amazing yeah it's crazy like it's like wind gusts up here it's like 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts because it's like rocking a truck that's cray cray now we're gonna follow this bus down. Guys, you really do need to come and visit. You need to come to Pikes Peak if you come to Colorado Springs. It is beautiful up here. Especially for people that haven't seen snow for a while. Oh. Look at us parking over in this side too. And that was that little place where we were at. It's so cute. Hey, look at this over here. You see how it looks like, like the stairs over there? I wonder what that is. Where? Like over there, you see like where the bricks are? It looks like like rock layers that look like stairs. You see it? No. Hey, right to the left. It's oh. Right there. Right <gasps> what is it? I don't know. But look at that. Look at the wind gusts in front of us. That's so dope. It's like 20 to 30 miles per hour winds. Oh! Why would I want to go anywhere else? Why would you want to live anywhere else? Exactly.
like the reservoir. There's this one where the reservoir is like below. the trail just waiting for this guy car to pass me or trike whatever it is this is crazy it's like running off the planet you know? hey <laughs> look how deep it is come on babe I didn't think you were gonna go in the snow, babe. <laughs> I thought we were going all the way over there. No. Oh. <laughs> I just wanted to get video of it right here because it was cool looking. Look <laughs> <laughs> at little puppies. Oh. You got snow in your shoes. It's all it's in there. You have something else, Back. lady. Back. Because <laughs> you want to go like a puppy. You want to go like a puppy and go take off running in the snow. <laughs> ay, ay, my baby. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was funny. Snow is not a toy. <laughs> Let's, hop up. Let's hop up on him. About to pull up on him. Picture? 
me in a video. Look at the clouds over there in front of us, babe. There's clouds in front of us, below us. Okay, put your window down and get that shot. Oh. Happy if we lived up here. <laughs> that would be cool. But imagine when it snows. Imagine. Imagine. But you didn't, didn't tell me that. I didn't think it was gonna be like I didn't think it was gonna be like that cold up there still because it's like what seventy degrees in Fountain? Yeah. It's 
77. Colorado Springs is 77 degrees. So I figured it'll be like around 50. And you know, 50 degrees is kind of hot for us. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, it was 37 degrees up there without the wind chill. So we So, we're here at the North Pole. There's like, and it says free admission today, so that's weird. At the North Pole, baby. <laughs> so, it's the day after we went to Pikes Peak. Uh, we were so excited for a trip that we forgot to do like our little kind of like narration about like what to expect. So, like some things that 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 everybody needs to expect and plan for when you trying to go to Pikes Peak and go up to the summit is um so when you first go I think you want to try to show up at least like 30 minutes early because there's like a line and I think there's going to be a line like all the time so you want to show up at least like 30 minutes early just to make sure that you get you know what I'm saying to you whatever time that you have because you have to like pick a time um the tickets were how much were the tickets again I think it was like 20 for both of us you paid I, I can't remember. I think it was like it was like ten or twelve dollars per person. Questions. It was like I ten. Just say yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was like ten or twelve dollars per person, and then I think the vehicle um, parking ticket, so you can park up at the summit. I think it was like two or three dollars. I can't remember. So like about twenty five to twenty seven dollars. I think is how much it's gonna be if it's two people. But just remember, um, try to show up thirty minutes early. So what did you think about the drive up? to Pikes Peak. I loved it. It was an experience, guys. It's um, it's super high. So if you're afraid of heights, like I recommend you really, really plan ahead so you can be ready for the high. But the view is amazing. It's amazing. I couldn't close my eyes because <laughs> it was just really, really, really beautiful up there. So one thing that you have to prepare for for the drive up to is um it's it's like super steep inclines in certain parts and the roads are it's not too small but i mean it's a two-lane road and there's like drop off on either the left or the right sides depending on how you're turning up onto the mountain so it's going to be either a complete drop off on your right side or a complete drop off on your left side it just depends so just be prepared for that just be mentally prepared for that because there's no barriers and there's no type of netting or anything to stop your vehicle from i mean there's ice there's a lot of snow <laughs> when you reach to the top but <laughs> yeah. when you when you're on the way up there's nothing there's literally nothing there that's going to stop you so be prepared for that um when you get to the summit what what would you tell people to prepare for when they get to the top of the it's high speed super cold like i was <laughs> not expecting that weather up there. It, it was like but, literally like a 30 to 40 degree difference on, on the summit compared yes. to the, the lower elevations. Take your beanies, take your gloves, take your big jackets, sweats, it, it was super, <laughs> boots, it, boots. Yeah, it was yeah. super cold and it was super windy. I wasn't expecting it to be that windy, you know what I'm saying? And it was just cold. It was, I felt like the middle of winter, you know, and it was just cold and it was so much snow. There was like big stashes of snow up there and it was just crazy so make sure when you go especially if you're taking your kids man make sure you guys dress warm make sure you guys prepare we just happened to have jackets like thin jackets not winter jackets and so we were not like i said I, we were not planning for it to be that cold i didn't think it was going to be 
that cold up there. Like I, that, that was a total shock. I to mean, me. I loved it. I love the cold weather. Yeah, I but mean, I wish I could have had. Yeah, it, yeah. If just be prepared. Be prepared to stay warm. Keep your fingers warm. <laughs> be prepared to just keep you know your upper body and your head warm and stuff. Because I was not expecting that. She uh she fell into it was like about three or four feet of snow. <laughs> she started walking and this is crazy. It's like running over the Hey, look how deep it is. Come on, babe. Come back. Come back out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it in the video, man. Be out my it, was, it, was, it was pretty funny. So, overall, what did you, what would you rate the Pikes Peak experience from a one to ten? Oh, a ten, definitely. A ten? Yeah, it's. I want to go again. Pikes Peak. I want to be prepared, like with my jacket, my gloves, yeah. my beanie, and go up, go up there. Uh -huh. Um, everything that's up there, I mean, it's just beautiful. Take your cameras, take your phones, yeah, because you're take a lot of pictures. Take a lot of pictures. Duh. The gift shop. What do you think about the gift shop? I almost forgot about the. Oh, there's gift so many shop. things. No. The it's... gift shop was huge. I wasn't expecting it to be that big. It was like a pretty. I big I wanted gift to shop. buy everything in that store. <laughs> so also <laughs> be prepared for the prices. I mean, it's a tourist attraction. Yeah. So of course everything's gonna be overpriced. So just be prepared for that if you want to get some. I think it's worth it. Yeah, I mean it definitely because it's an experience. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying. Um, there's the the little cafe. A restaurant but it's really not a restaurant that's another thing that you need to know it's not like an actual restaurant with food it's more like a snack bar but you they know have... what i think because mm -hmm. i was thinking about it like because of the weather up there mm -hmm. i think um the coffee and the hot chocolate and the donuts that mm -hmm. they have there like that's what people are going to be looking for when you go up there yeah um of I, yeah, course not sense. me because of us because we're not like yeah i was i was expecting something more like salty and spicy uh -huh. but yeah, so I, mean, I, so I guess that basically from what I've seen that they had donuts and pizza and popcorn chips and, and chips and cheese and you know what I'm saying? And some so, salads. Yeah, so it wasn't it wasn't a restaurant. So I don't think because I thought it was going to be like a restaurant with like actual I thought they legit. were going to have wings. <laughs> and <laughs> there was no wings up yeah, there. Yeah, so, so I thought there was going to have like legit food, like a restaurant, but it wasn't. It was just basically a snack bar. So yeah. just just... It was about cute that. though. Yeah, I mean it was cool. The little, it was cool. That little place was cute. Like, like, we, didn't eat, and, we, we didn't eat coffee. because you know it was just like a bunch of junk food and we wanted to actually eat food afterwards. So mm -hmm. we just said, you know, we'll just go somewhere to eat. But just prepare for that, that if you guys haven't ate, at least take something to eat and snack on. Or if you're gonna pay for that expensive snack bar food at the summit. But it was a cool experience. And oh yeah, remember the little museum they had. That they was have pretty a dope. museum. Yeah. A little museum telling you everything about the history of Pikes Peak and um Manitou Springs and everything. And so it was a pretty the first hiker that yeah that, that did it and stuff like that. The hike. That's my next goal. Mm -hmm. I want to do the hike. So. Um, up there i think he did it like in five hours and a half yeah, or something yeah, that's crazy so that's one hell of a hike right and then you gotta come back down yeah. <laughs> but anyways man that's it for today man that's our experience driving up to pike peaks pike's peak for the first time the elevation was what's the elevation hold on real quick <laughs> elevation was fourteen thousand one hundred and fifteen feet man so that's that that's the elevation for pike's peak so if you guys come to colorado springs Make sure you guys put that on your bucket list because you have to check it out. If you're afraid of heights, you either suck it up or don't go because, you know, when I was driving up there, when I look over at one point and I see that drop off, I kind of got a little bit of anxiety. <laughs> like, you know, I was like, oh, shit. So be prepared, man. But it's a fun experience. It's a cool experience. They also have like a train going up there. You can take a train. Yeah, we and, saw that train up and there. And they also have like bus tours or the Jeep tours or whatever where they take you in the Jeep. So if you're going to take the Jeep tour, remember make sure you dress warm i mean i think they provide jackets but make sure you dress warm because the jeep has a cover but it's open on the sides and it was mad windy up there it was blowing snow if it, it felt like it was uh, like a winter storm it was crazy up there so make sure you guys uh check out pike's peak man check out the summit it's a good experience she rated a 10 it's pretty cool we definitely we're definitely gonna go back again with family and try to do it again but anyways man it's your boy tony and <laughs> ah, she wasn't she wasn't ready for that <laughs> she's like oh shit what's my name <laughs> <laughs> all right let's do it again take two okay let's do it again all right it's your boy tony and your girl <laughs>
Colorado Adventures, man. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you guys like. Make sure you guys share. Make sure you guys get the numbers up, man. Tony and whoever this person is, man. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.